Hello everyone, this is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database and today we are very briefly going to discuss 25 different ancestral homes such as castles, estates, manor houses. Now what does this have to do with coats of arms or heraldry? Well, not much, but it is related because a lot of the families who lived and were able to afford these houses were upper class and rich, and it's safe to say most of them had coats of arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy and ancestral research services. Please visit the link in our description. Thank you. Let's get started. The first ancestral home to discuss is Adair Manor. It's located in County Limerick, and it was owned by the following families. Morris, Fitzgerald, St. Ledger, Zouch, Gold, Riggs, Wallop, Norris, Jeffson, Evans, Ormsby, and Quinn. The present structure dates to the 19th century, with some walls dating to the 17th century. A manor existed on this site since at least the 11th century. An exterior wall contains the following inscription from the Bible. Except the Lord build the house, their labor is but lost that build it. Next we have Appleby Castle, located in Cumbria, England. The castle was founded in the 12th century. Families owned by Vipont, Clifford, and Tufton. Next is Arley Hall, located in Cheshire, England. It was owned by the Warburton family and the Flower family. Next is Audley End House located in Essex, England. The house was built in the early 17th century and it was owned by Audley, Howard, and Griffin. Next is Badminton House, located in Gloucestershire, England. A previous home was modernized in the 1620s. It was owned by Boteller and Somerset. And we know that Queen Mary stayed here during much of World War II. Next is Bailey Borough Castle, located in County Cavan, Ireland. It was built in 1629 and owned by Bailey, Hamilton, Stewart, Corey, and Young. Next is Balmoral Castle located in Aberdeen, Scotland. A house was built around 1390 and a tower house was built in the 16th or 15th centuries with a new house built in the 19th century. It was owned by the Drummonds and the Gordons. And we know Queen Victoria laid the foundation stone in 1853 during her annual autumn visit. Next is Bantry House located in County Cork, Ireland. It was constructed around the year 1710, and it was owned by the Hutchinson and White families. Next is Batemans, located in East Sussex, England. The mansion house was constructed in 1634. It was owned by the Langham family, and we know that Rudyard Kipling lived here from 1902 until his death in 1936. Next is Bottlewin, Bottle Widen's Castle, located in Denbyshire, Wales, Bort, built around 1460 and reconstructed in the 1830s. It was owned by the Humphreys, the Williams, and the Wins and the camp was used for trench warfare during World War I. World, I'm sorry, trench warfare training during World War I. 
Next is Brownsea Castle, located in Dorset, England. It was owned by the Hattons, the Chamberlains, the Chads, and the Fosters. And in 1848, the owners, the castle's owner, Sir Augustus Foster, took his own life in the castle. Next is Burgley House, located in Lincolnshire, England. The house was built between 1555 and 1587. It was owned by the Cecil family and built for Sir William Cecil, who was Lord High Treasurer to Queen Elizabeth I. Next is Calk Abbey, located in Derbyshire, England. The present structure dates to the early 1700s and was founded in the early 12th century as Calk Priory. It was owned by the Prest or Priest family, as well as the Bradbournes, Wensleys, Bainbridges, and Harpers. Next is Carberry Tower located in East Lothian, Scotland. The original tower dates from the 16th century or earlier, and it was added onto in the year 1760. It was owned by Johnston, Maitland, Riggs, Blair, Dickinson, Fullerton, and Elphinstone. Next is Charlton House, located in Greater London. It was built in the early 1600s and owned by the Newtons, the Conyers, and the Ducies. It served as a divisional headquarters of the Red Cross during the First World War. Next is Chippenham Park, located in Cambridgeshire, England, and it was owned by the Revits, the Russells, and the Tharps. Next is Clon Clonin Castle in Westmeath, Ireland. The original construct castle was constructed in 1181 and a second castle was built in 1639. It was owned by the De Lacy's and the Nugents and the family burned the castle to the ground rather than surrender it to Oliver Cromwell and the castle was restored in 1860. Next is we have Dairy Quinn Castle seen here. Located in County Kerry, Ireland, it was built in the 18th century and it was owned by the Blands and the Warrens. The estate was acquired by a reverend who moved to Ireland in 1692. Here we have Dunrobin Castle, located in Highland, Scotland. Most of the structure was built in the 1800s and a castle existed on the lands as early as 1401. It was owned by the Sutherland family and the castle has 189 rooms. Here we have Erdig Hall located in North Wales. The original house was built in the 1680s and it was refurbished and expanded in the 1720s. Next is Gosworth Hall, located in Cheshire, England. The present house was constructed from 1480 to 1600, which replaced an earlier house, but much of it has been demolished. It was owned by the Fittons, the Jareds, and the Stanhopes. Mary Fitton, thought to be the Dark Lady of Shakespeare's sonnets, was one notable resident of the hall. Next we have Gwerch Castle, seen here. And after that we have Lupton House, located in Devon, England. The manor was documented in the 11th century, and a house was built in 1770, mostly destroyed by fire in 1960, 1926, but was rebuilt. It was owned by the Peverells, the Uptons, the Haynes, and the Bullers. 
the estate played a significant role in the support and training of the U.S. infantry in their preparations for Operation Overlord and the D-Day landings. Moore Hall Located in County Mayo, Ireland, built between 1792 and 1795, owned by the Moore family, and it was burned down during the Irish Civil War. And lastly, for the purposes of this video, we have Powderham Castle, located in Devon, England. It was owned by the Courtney family. It dates back to the 1400s, and it was expanded and altered significantly in the 1790s. The castle fell to Colonel Robert Hammond in 1646 during the English Civil War, and it was repaired by the Courtney family in the early 1700s. If you enjoyed this video, and would like to learn more about your ancestors, possibly where they lived, please visit us at coadb.com. Thank you very much.